Hello what's up YouTube, this is the Halo Forgery bringing you a game type tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the basics of creating a flood game type on a map. If you do not already know what flood is, flood is a game mode which pits the flood, one of the main enemies in the Halo games against humans. It has since Halo 3 been a common game type, bringing many great game modes. Before Halo 4 the game mode was called Infection, it has since been renamed to Flood in Halo 4. The game mode pits humans against the flood in a three round battle, each round spawns two out of the twelve humans as zombies. Once all humans have eventually been converted, the round ends. After all three rounds are completed, there are rankings based on your survival time and kill death ratio. This can become quite a competitive game mode on custom games. In the game mode, humans can pick from three custom loadouts, each with slightly varying armor abilities. Humans can pick from Hardlight Shield, a shield which can block flood attacks. Promethean Vision allows players to see through walls and gain a tactical advantage and active camo which allows players to hide from the flood for a brief amount of time. It needs to be remembered though that when you are last man standing you are visible by a large kill symbol that makes hiding a futility. So you've got to make sure that you don't get caught by that. Flood players can also access free loadouts, active camo, Promethean Vision and Thruster Pack. Thruster Pack allows them to boost across an area similar to that of Reach's Evade Armor ability. The ability when coupled with the flood's increased speed and jump height means they can traverse large areas of the map before the Thruster Pack runs out. As you can see, here is an example of a last man standing situation. You usually get backed into a corner and get killed after 4 or 5 attempts by the flood. These situations usually last between 20 and 30 seconds depending on your accuracy. Here I'm going to show you how to create a flood map of your own. For demonstration purposes I'm only going to use one of each item you'll need. To create a custom flood map you only need respawn initial spawn points. In the flood game mode the defending team red team are the humans, the attacking team blue team are the flood. You will need initial spawns and respawn points for the Flood and Humans. In this tutorial I've spawned two initial spawns, one for either side, and two respawns, one for either side. You need 16 human initial spawns, just to cover any team imbalance, and 16 plus respawn points per team, in case there are any AFK players, just to be safe. The human initial spawns, the point at which humans will initially spawn when the game starts, should be set to defenders on their team option. The flood initial spawns, the points at which the flood players will initially spawn when the game starts, should be set to attackers on their team option. The respawn points follow the same rule. If you do not wish your respawns to become initial spawn and respawn points in other game modes, then go into the advanced options of the initial respawn point that you do not wish to be present in any other game modes and change the game specific option to true and the game type label to flood. This states that this object will only spawn in a specific game mode, in this case the flood game mode. This part of the video is to show you that the spawn system works. If successful, the left spawn player will spawn a flood player, the right spawn will spawn a human player. As you can see, the flood spawns on the left in the attacker's spawn point, the human spawns on the right on the defender's spawn point. This is all you need to create a flood map. This is basic and bare bones. Other options such as ordnance, loadout cameras, and auto turrets will be showcased in a more complex version of the flood tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe for more epic machinima, map reviews and forging tutorials.